G'day YouTube and welcome back to Step by Step Back to Basics. Today we're going to be talking about ideal battery voltage for the 18650 battery. But before we get started, I just wanted to show you, I do have a very large uh, bucket of batteries here. There's 266 cells and I've been testing away crazily over the last week. So we can build some uh, cells and then some battery packs. Um, I do have a couple of these large uh, 24 volt, 110 hour batteries um, paralleled right here before we can hook them up to our large inverter. But we'll get to that shortly. Today we're going to be talking about uh, the ideal voltage for 18650 uh, batteries. So let's have a closer look and get to that. So we're wanting to build a battery out of 18650 cells to use in whatever function that you require to build it in. Um, and you're thinking, well, I'll build a 12 volt battery because that's uh, a very common uh, battery type and you can use it with a lot of equipment that already exists. So currently, um, you, the most common type of 12 volt battery is a lead acid battery. And the voltages for these are somewhere between 10.5 volts to 12.6 volts. Some of them go up to 13 volts. Um, and say this was a 100 amp hour battery. We could actually only use 50% of this battery. Because of the chemistry, these batteries can only be discharged to 50% without you permanently damaging those batteries. So if, even though this is a 100 amp hour battery, we can only use 50 amp hours of that battery. So if this was a 12.6 volt battery at 100 amp hours, that would give us, you know, 12, 1200 watt hours. But if you can only use 600 watt hours of those 1200 watt hours, what's the point? So we want to use a lithium battery because, wow, lithium batteries, you can use almost 90% of the battery capacity. So we think, oh, great. So let's go ahead and let's build a, a 3S or a 4S battery. But wait a second, <laughs> 3S batteries, if you do use a 3S battery, your voltages are nine volts through to 12.6 uh, volts. And once again, we're gonna have the same issue because with the um, technology that you're using with the inverters, you're only gonna be actually discharging this battery down to around about 12 volts. So we're leaving 40% of the capacity unused. And then again, with a 4S battery, the voltage is 12 volts through to 16.8 volts. We're actually only using the bottom 60% of the battery because it, the um, devices that we use for 12 volt batteries don't utilize the top 40% of this battery. So in a 12 volt configuration, um, 3S and 4S 18650 batteries, they work and they work perfectly fine, but you're leaving a lot of the watt hours you know, on the shelf and you're not getting to use them. In the 3S configuration, you're overstressing the battery. In the 4S configuration, you, you're understressing it, but you're losing 40% of the capacity. So this is where we go to 7S configuration and 24 volt uh, lithium ion batteries. It's actually perfect. There's no such thing as a 6S, there's no such thing as an 8S. A 7S configuration works perfectly with all 24 volt. If you have to have a 12 volt battery, or you need four to run a 12 volt inverter that you already have, um, I still recommend you make a 24 volt lithium ion battery. Just get a step down converter. Um, something like this, wait a second. Um, just like this one right here. This is a 480 watt DC to DC converter that changes 24 volt to 12 volt. And um, this one I used in a previous project, which I did actually go ahead and um, pull apart because I've learned a lot since I originally made this particular battery. So um, this is what I recommend you get if you want 12 volts to still build a 24 volt battery. So let's, let's have just a little bit more look at this. So it just comes down to you want to build, you want to use 18650 cells. You need to stick to combinations of 24 volt, 24 volt, 48 volt, um, and on. So as long as you stick with these combinations, you will be able to use pretty much 90% of this battery. 
um, you'll be able to charge all the way 29.4 volts, discharge all the way down to 21 volts. And so uh, in this particular case, if this was a 100 amp hour battery, you'd be getting almost 2,500 watt hours out of this battery. Where these ones, you're leaving, like this one, you're getting the, you're just getting 600 watt hours. These ones you're getting about 700 watt hours. Even if you had two of these, you're still only getting 1400 watt hours out of them. For a battery, if you just change the configuration to 7S, the same batteries will give you 2500 watt hours. That's the reason why we want to go with a 7S 24 volt battery when we're using lithium ion cells. Because we're paying all this money, we want to use it to the best of its ability. So once again, anytime you're building with 18650 batteries, um, we always want to use a 7S configuration. There are other ways around it. As I said, use a step down converter, but this is the best. You can still do these two, it works perfectly fine. You're just leaving a lot of, the, a lot of that capacity on the table when you're using your batteries. So once again, YouTube, thanks for watching Step by Step Back to Basics. And coming up in our next video, we're gonna be um, putting together one of these uh, batteries or cells. Is it a battery or is it a cell? Because it has cells in it or does it have batteries in it? And we're gonna talk about all that in the next video. Thanks for watching. And if you do like my series, please subscribe. I don't really say that at all really, but I really appreciate if you could subscribe, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, um, as we get into more depth about building batteries, power supplies, please, please, I'm happy to help and provide that information. And YouTube, have a great day. And remember, if you buy cheap, you will buy twice and keep it simple whenever possible.